You have a lawyer in Virginia? That's correct. Um, Richard Gardner. Richard has um, had worked for as assistant general counsel to the NRA for several years. The National um, Rifle Association at yes. the national level. And so he's kind of a an expert in these kinds of cases that dealers bring in to try and help them with local cases. Exactly, yes. And then you also have a team of lawyers in Boise? In Boise as well. And so, how many, what's your, what are your legal bills up to right now, um, roughly speaking? At least over $50,000. And, and you're not done? We don't even have a court date yet. In what context do you see this in, in terms of the number of licensed dealers, FFL dealers nationwide, decreasing over time? What, what are those numbers, roughly speaking? From 94 to 2005, the number of dealers has gone down nearly 80 percent. And then um, uh, one of the magazines just, uh, one of the trade magazines has just indicated as well that uh, the number of revocations has gone up from 2001 to 2006 nearly six times. Revoking gun dealer, gun shop licenses like this. Exactly. And what do you, do you think this is kind of unfair pressure trying to just make it harder to buy guns in this country? Absolutely. I'm, I mean, they're asking for 100 percent compliance. You know, these these are you know a lot of just mom and pop shops. These are and and the problem is is that um, when people look at it, people say, okay, well you violated laws. No, these are policies, and these are policies that that tend to keep changing. And these are also policies I've I've asked so many of our inspectors as well, saying when when they try and cite us on something, say why why has this never been brought to our attention before? Why have we never been cited on this before? Uh, it's never been brought to our attention and you know and and the biggest thing that comes back each time is well um, different inspectors look for uh, you know look for different issues. Let's get philosophical a little bit here. 